dear colleagues this is a seven minutes long video and you are going to watch submarine job you can see this is a cataract with grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis this is the main incision at around 11 o'clock and this incision should be very careful and the main incision need not be hydrated at the conclusion of surgery and now this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now one yes only one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision and now the anti capsule is incised with a 26 case bent needle and a capsular tag is raised like this now I take a uterator forceps hold this capsular tag go anticlockwise try to remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated people all around and thus I do a fairly acceptable capsular excess now hydro dissection BSS is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is tapped the fluid wave comes along the equator anteriorly and then you rotate the nucleus and thus break the capsulocortical adhesions now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the entry chamber bevel down at this time some superficial cortical matter is aspirated to improve visibility and now this is submarine chop the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus travels through the nucleus crosses the center and then you chop it like this and see how beautifully you can chop it rotate the nucleus go at a deeper plane through the substance of the nucleus and chop this hemineucleus into two parts here you separate the two hemineuclei completely now rotate it this is the other hemineucleus go through the substance of the nucleus and chop it now the nucleus has been divided into four almost equal parts now ultrasonic energy is employed to emulsify these nuclear fragments and they are removed from the eye ultrasonic energy used in this case is 75 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Oatly Cataryx 3 vacuum machine and now this is the last piece last portion of the nucleus we are almost through the nucleus has also come along with the nucleus and very little cortical matter is there in the supero superior aspect supero nasal aspect little bit of visco since there is only one side port I have decided to use this very simple instrument this is a Simco cannula 23 gauge and very comfortably you can remove the cortical matter with this instrument that's it cortex is removed posterior capsule is clean there are no cells on the posterior capsule in this case in this case we have de decided to place a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens 
under irrigation. Here goes the intraocular lens. The irrigating probe places the lens in the capsular bag and the probe comes through the main incision, dials the lens and that's it. Since the lens has been implanted under irrigating fluid, keeping the antechamber formed under irrigation, there is no viscoelastic substance in the antechamber. So, a lot of time which is spent in cleaning out the viscoelastic substance is saved. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, the only side port, yes, the only side port on the left side of the main incision is hydrated to make this stub incision waterproof. The main incision in my surgeries doesn't need any hydration. And now, this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber with clean, fresh BSS. So, all the particles are removed at this time. Any small bits of viscoelastic substance, if it is there, comes out this time. Visco sticking to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. And that's it. The case is done after formation of the anterior chamber. Thank you very much. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Don't forget to check the integrity of the wound.